Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. In this lab, I'm going to show you how to enable SRST for a branch office with 30 seconds re-register time. We're going to configure Site C to use the default gateway as an SRST reference point. Should Site C lose connection to Call Manager, all the phone in Site C will register to the router itself. We're also going to ensure that when the connectivity is restored, IP phone in Site C do not have to wait more than 30 seconds to re-register to Call Manager. In order to complete this lab, you need one Call Manager, two IP, at least one IP phone, and a router with an SRST feature enabled. First of all, on Site C, I will enable SRST just to prove that it will work. So I have basic configuration for an SRST on the router. In Call Manager, I will assign the device pool, Site C. I will advise the device pool to let the phone know that for SRST reference, they're going to use their default gateway. The connection monitor duration, I'll set this to 30 seconds. and reset the phone. We're going to verify to ensure that the phone has taken the right as necessary uh, configuration. So I will open the, one of the phone into my screen. Uh, the phone is still trying to register. So let's try the second phone. And as you can see on the screen, I am scrolling down to the section where it's to make sure that the phone knows which IP address to fall back. And there it shows that SRST is pointing to the IP address of the default gateway, 135.1.67.240. Now, to prove this concept will work, what we're going to do is we're going to shut down the serial interface. to simulate the call failure. Watch the screen that the phone will try to register here. In the next Keep Alive. So I should not have the capability of pinging the call manager at this stage. Oh, I still do. I'll have that interface right there. Again, that's a routing issue. So I've lost connection to call manager right now. I can try pinging again. Okay, for some reason SRST did not fall back. Oh, my max, there is no max DN configuration, sorry, my mistake. I forgot to define maximum DN. I believe I overwrit or overwritten the Maxi phone twice. Okay, so I will bring back the interface up to to re-register. I have to try this all again. So my frame should be up.
Okay, I'm going to shut this interface down again to simulate the failover. So OSPF is down. My phone should also unregister from call manager. And I can verify that by going to call manager. So one of the phone will be unregistered here. Still not showing unregistered, but on the phone itself, it's showing call manager fallback. So here you can see that the phone has registered to the router. So if I were to say no shut on the serial interface and we'll wait for 30 seconds. So as you can see, it's unregistered normally, which is the expected result, and it's going to now fall back or re-register to call manager. Okay, so it was within the 30 second time frame. Keep in mind your spanning tree protocol will be in effect in this. Alright, so alright, so that's the basic SRC setup.